Hi everybody, let's see what the upcoming weekend has in store for you. It could be about love, finances, events, trips, anything. Please subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Let's begin. This spread is for all fire signs. Perhaps your story isn't here, but uh, there is a separate spread just for your sign. We have Strength, we have the Emperor, we have the Ten of Cups, and we have the Ten of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. So what's interesting here is that uh, Strength is the personal Leo card, uh, the Emperor is the personal Aries card, and uh, we have two marriage or committed relationship cards on the table. The Ten of Cups is more of our emotional side of it, so it, it's uh, one of the best cards when it comes to emotionally fulfilling relationships or marriages, and the Ten of Pentacles is more on, on the um, practical or uh, financial type of a deal but it's still a marriage card this is when people buy real estate together you know this is a very stable very grounded type of a connection so we've got both of them here <laughs> so this is the best of both worlds so this spread could be as literal as a Leo getting married to an Aries or a Leo is getting into a committed relationship with an Aries right or this is still uh, a very powerful spread this is if you are already in a relationship or married then it basically means that your relationship or marriage is standing very strong strength could also be all about passion right and uh, the emperor could be all about taking control of the situation the emperor is uh, a figure of authority this is also the future husband or significant other figure so Whatever is happening here, this is a great spread. If you are getting married, congratulations. If you're making it exclusive, if you are moving in together, then also congratulations. And uh, if, you're mar if you're already married in a, in a relationship, something is going to happen that will uh, make your relationship or your marriage even better, even stronger. Nothing negative is going to happen, right? Because... Uh, I know there is a saying what doesn't kill us makes us stronger, but uh, it's not the case here. Something very positive is going to happen that will only solidify your relationship or marriage. So, yep, congratulations. Aries, we have the Two of Cups, clarified by the Four of Wands. We have the Star, we have the Queen of Wands, and we also have the Six of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Aquarius or a Fire Sign, another Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. This is an improvement spread. Things are about to get much, much better for you. Or if you weren't sure about where this relationship or this connection that you're currently in or your, the connection you're starting is going, you will have a really good understanding <laughs> where it's going. And it's going towards a commitment. So the Six of Swords on the bottom of the deck. This is a card of um, a rough patch being over. This is a card of moving out of choppy water towards calmer water. So, like I said, this is either an improvement, something is about to get better, or you will have clarity. You're moving towards a commitment with the Six of Swords. The Queen of Wands on um, right next to the deck. This is most likely you, Aries, male or female. Absolutely doesn't matter. The first card I came out is the Two of Cups, and it's clarified by the Four of Wands. The Two of Cups is one of the best cards when it comes to love. This is uh, soulmate love, this is unconditional love, and uh, whenever I see the Two of Cups, it's always about two people being on the same page and the feelings they have for each other are mutual. The Two of Cups is clarified by the Four of Wands. The Four of Wands is one of the relationship cards or marriage cards, but to me personally, the Four of Wands is the actual waiting card, because in some cultures, people get married underneath the structure with the... Um, leaves and branches so that's what I always see in in the four of ones in this deck we also have the star right there in the middle the star is the personal Aquarius card so you could be getting together with an Aquarius or the star is a wish come true card so yeah if you have been wishing or hoping for a committed relationship or marriage your wish is coming true or like I said this is all about that uncertainty being over and the star card is kind of a sort of a healing type of a uh, situation where now you will feel assured now you will feel like you know exactly what's happening so the star is all about that type of healing it's um, just this is an advice for you to 
stay calm <laughs> it's coming into fruition this rough patch is finally coming to an end and you're moving towards a commitment Leo we have the Ace of Pentacles, we have the Nine of Pentacles, we have the Chariot, and we have the King of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Fire Sign, Aries, another Leo or Sagittarius. You could also be dealing with a Cancer. So the King of Wands is most likely you, Leo. Male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. Or you could be dealing with another Fire Sign. right? And uh, we also have the Chariot right there. It could be a Cancer you're dealing with. Um, I think this spread is about money and it could be coming towards you in any shape or form. The Ace of Pentacles, the first card that came out, it could be just money coming towards you. It could be as simple as paycheck. By the way, somebody could be buying your car because the chariot could be a vehicle. So if somebody is buying your car, they'll pay a good amount for it. Probably even more than you originally expected. Or it could be as serious as a new job could be as serious as a new a business adventure, um, a new investment opportunity. You could be cashing in on something. You, somebody could be paying you the dividends of some sort. Right? Either way, this is money coming towards you and uh, you will feel a little or a lot richer <laughs> over the weekend. The Nine of Pentacles right there in the middle. Uh, this is one of the best cards one in to have when it comes to work, business, and finances. This is a card of somebody who has uh, got the money, right? Once you get the Ace of Pentacles come towards you, you will have plenty of Pentacles to feel financially secure, or you'll just have, like, you have more money coming, uh, more money in your bank account. And uh, the Chariot is all about a victory, it's all about uh, feeling great. Um, like I said, it could be a car or you will feel like you're moving forward and uh, you are bulldozing over other people. <laughs> the, the Chariot is one of the fastest cards and one of the most powerful. This is uh, a card of when somebody who is really, really um, important or somebody who feels that they've got the world in their pocket, something like that. It's, this is a very powerful spread. You're definitely moving in the right direction and uh, you feel like you've got your money. All right, cool. Sagittarius, we have the Ace of Swords, clarified by the Moon, we have the Emperor, we have the Page of Swords, and we have the Fool on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Pisces or an Aries. Um, so I think this spread is about either taking control of a situation or this is uh, getting a hold of yourself, um, getting a hold of your own emotions and uh, letting go of something or someone, just starting from scratch. You're finally cutting the cord here, that's, that's what I see here with the Fool card on the bottom of the deck. The Fool is all about taking a leap of faith, but I think in this case this is uh, you letting go because you will finally put, get your shit together <laughs> or you will finally take control of the situation, you will finally get a hold of yourself and uh, there you go. Right? So the first card that came out is the uh, Page of Swords and Starfight by the Moon. The Moon could be um, Pisces you're dealing with, but I think the, the Ace of Swords is uh, you cutting the Moon energy out of your system. The Moon is all about sadness, depression, um, being all sad and uh, really in your feelings, just feeling kind of depressed or you know not knowing what to do or you're just sitting at home doing nothing feeling all sad and uh, depressed so I think that is coming to an end and I believe the page of swords is also about that because the page of swords is holding up a sword and that's exactly the sword I see in the um, ace of swords so it could be a first step towards your freedom a first step towards uh, you getting yourself back to, together Right, then the, the Emperor could be an Aries you're dealing with, but most likely this is your energy. The, you're finally taking control of your life, you're finally taking control of what's going on, and uh, you're letting go of that moon energy so you could have a fresh start in your life. Alright? Cool. And there you have it. I hope my readings resonated with you, and if they did, I hope they make your lives better in one way or the other. Please share and subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Thank you for watching.